welcome to a little bit of bonus wellness because the last track spontaneously cut out the way my phone does from time to time, which is the closest I'll ever come to editing these videos, <laughs> is when there's technical difficulties. Um, so I just wanted to share my sort of medical training meditation of the day, which, well, there's always several in this Zen and the art of medicine life. <laughs> I, I feel that a lot of, of people are kind of unsung heroes in the, in the yogi master realm. Maybe they wear a lot of different hats and they, that's not one that they either publicly label themselves or other people recognize, but I just wanted to give lots of thanks to all those peaceful warriors out there. And on any given day, our own ability to stay present with ourselves and with our patients and stay calm inside and let things go and not be caught up in this tug of war between the past and the future. You know, our own ability to do that waxes and wanes all the time. So uh, it can be nice when when other people recognize it in you and they're like, oh wow, you're so calm. <laughs> and it can be nice when you recognize it in other people when you're feeling, you know, your 15th hour of work and many of those hours are just a series of interrupted task after interrupted task and it can leave you feeling very unsettled as to like what have you started what have you finished mostly you just don't want to drop drop any of those many many balls that you're juggling because each one of those tasks affects people's lives and their health and so and you know a lot of those tasks are like keystrokes and clicks and little movements with vast consequences. So, so it's always nice when, when someone near you, you know, you're like, wow, they are so calm and so present and so pleasant and so sweet and sincere. And it can serve as a reminder like, yep, that is possible. That is possible even with all the pressure, all the stress. Um, and so what to do, what to do when you've got these very real, very physical stressors, you know, stress is a physical reaction our bodies have that's completely natural, very useful, you couldn't get by without it. However, in excess, it can be counterproductive to what we're trying to do. So I find it helpful to try to, with each moment, each breath, reach a, a carte blanche, a black a blank state of mind where even though you know maybe something upsetting or just plain old physical exhaustion <laughs> is getting me down but just really trying to arrive and kind of give the most and get the most out of each moment and so the breath is a good a good way to kind of bring bring us back to the present, even though we've got all these many things to be thinking about from the past and then about the future. And it can help to have kind of a mantra, like a, a simple repetitive phrase that you can say or think to yourself with each in-breath and each out-breath. And that can change day to day, whatever is resonating with you at, at any given day. You know, some people find it helpful to just think in, out, or maybe there's a words or a pair of words in other languages that you would rather use instead besides English. Um, another example, if you would like an example, would be to inhale and think to yourself here and then exhale and think now. And your breath mantra can be whatever you need it to be. You can change it at any moment. Maybe you want to inhale and think fear, and exhale and think less. Or inhale and think I am, and exhale and think 
calm or safe or at peace, you know, whatever works for you. So have fun with that. I hope you find it useful in your day to day. And oh, another awesome thing that, <laughs> that happened today was um, when I was, you know, managing a bunch of patients and I had a great team with a couple of med students helping me out. And those med students were making phone calls to schedule follow-up appointments for our patients that we were discharging from the hospital because we discharged a lot today. And, and one of them said, oh yeah, no, it'll be good. It'll be good for me to make these phone calls because I have phone anxiety and making phone calls is helping me overcome that. And I thought, wow, you know, this young woman can succeed at anything in life with that kind of attitude of looking at what makes us uncomfortable as an opportunity to grow. And certainly everyday residency, we're growing, we're pushing the limits of our comfort zone wider and wider. <laughs> so it's, it's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of perseverance, um, but it's extremely gratifying and so worth it. And so taking a moment to feel grateful for those situations in which we feel uncomfortable can be another great way to deal with stress. Um, you know, these there might be certain people that we interact with or certain things like, like if, if, you know, if you're ever driving and there's like a person with mega brights on like right behind you and it just feels like you're in the spotlight and it can be kind of blinding and irritating. You're like, you know, I noticed that today driving home. I'm like, oh, man, I'm having this like really strong stress reaction and there's nothing I can really do about this car that's just blaring mile after mile down the highway. And, and so, you know, little things like that are good opportunities to practice relaxing ourselves, reassuring ourselves. And... And also learning about ourselves. We can learn so much about ourselves from those uncomfortable situations. So giving thanks to those opportunities to say, yeah, what are my fears and why? And what can I do to deal with those? And maybe heal from those or grow in a way that I'm stronger and feel more confident, more capable and less limited. So that is a little bit of what I garnered today from the wards. Again, many thanks, many thanks to the yogi doctors out there. So may you be well. I'm gonna touch my thumbs to my forehead. May you have peaceful thoughts. Touch my thumbs to my lips. May you have peaceful words. Touch my lips to my heart. May you have peace in your heart. Namaste. Oh, and also touching thumbs to my belly. May you have good digestion. <laughs> True inner peace when there's lots of gastroenteritis going around. All right. Good night.